Hello everyone, this is Jerry Pacey, Product Manager at Pepperoni Fuchs for the Smart Runner. Today we want to discuss some quick tips and key features for the Smart Runner Matcher and Smart Runner Matcher Extended. So for this application video, what we want to focus on is the Smart Runner Matcher's color independency and also the quality good feature we see in Vision Configurator. So from within Vision Configurator, the first thing that we want to do is hit the Refresh COM ports over here. Then we click OK, wait till it's refreshed, and we should be into the software now. Once we're loaded into the software, the main thing we want to look at is the line diagram. Next, we'll hit Get Lines, and when that loads, now we have our graph. Next, from here, you want to hit Fit to Line, and what this does is give you a more zoomed in view on the line profile. So from here, what we want to do is start focusing the teach region box and the evaluation area box over the actual target shown in the line diagram. And for this example, all I have here is a white Lego on a table with the smart runner looking above it. So after we've gotten our teach area box over the actual target, what we want to keep in mind is that we only include the area around the target that could change. Nothing more, nothing less. So now that we have the teach region and the evaluation region set the way we'd like, the next step is to actually teach the line profile. So over on the left hand panel, we're going to hit the teach button. And after a successful teach, you'll see on the actual sensor that the result LED is green. And then inside Vision Configurator, if you go to the result view tab and you hit start requests, you'll see that we have a good teach there as well. So the next thing we want to do is remove the white Lego and introduce our next target, which is a red Lego. So what you should notice here is that on the actual sensor, the result LED is still green. And also within Vision Configurator, it's still good. The reason behind that is because while the color has changed from a white Lego to a red Lego, the line profile has not changed, so therefore it's still a match. So in the last example, what we want to do is swap out the red Lego for a dark target, in this case, a black Lego. And what you see here is, again, the result LED on the actual smart runner is still green and good, and then the software is still good because the line profile has not changed regardless of the color. So for the last step, we're going to remove the black Lego and insert the next one. So what you'll see here immediately is that the result on the actual sensor says bad. It's a red light. And also in the software, it says bad. The reason why is because now the line profile has changed. This particular Lego is just a little bit taller. So now if we wanted, we can make this Lego the good target. All we'd have to do is go back into software, stop request, Perform a teach again, and now once you look at the actual sensor, you'll see that the result LED is now green again, meaning that this is the good target. In the software, it also says good under the result tab. So now if I swap this one out and introduce the red Lego, you'll quickly see that it's bad. This does not match. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and have a nice day.